Theory for Remote Aviation. In this video tutorial, we're going to take you through a number of aerial video techniques you might want to start introducing for footage that you get to film for clients, or even something you might want to practice during our remote pilot's license course or after using your own equipment. We're going to take you through a number of techniques such as the forward reveal shot, the backwards reveal shot, and even look at other things called the slider, the vertical shot, and even what they call the crane. At the end of this video, I'm also going to talk you through a number of common errors that people make, particularly people that are new to aerial video, and tips that I've picked up along the way to try and avoid this. The first technique we're going to look at is the forward reveal shot. The forward reveal shot, sometimes referred to as the unveiling shot, is commonly used to introduce the viewer to new scenes or locations. Although this shot may seem easy, there are some important things to consider to get it right. If possible, try to have a different fore and background layer to create a more spectacular shot. Ensure you fly in a straight line, avoiding sideways movement or yaw. You can practice the shot by positioning yourself beyond where you'd like the scene to start. Start your forward movement, but don't rush. You want to give the viewer the feeling of floating. To help with flying in a straight line, try to film in conditions of light winds. To make the shot more dramatic, try a slight climb and choose scenery that allows you to reveal something new to the viewer, such as a town or mountains. If working on a descending shot, you'll need to slowly reduce the drone's speed as you get closer to the ground. This will ensure the speed of the scenery movement remains constant to the viewer. A different, and what I think is a much better variation of the forward reveal, is the backwards reveal shot. Sometimes known as the pullback shot, this technique is great for the viewer to watch because it reveals new scenery into the frame. The advantage of this shot is it prevents the propellers from being seen while filming, which is a common problem with the forward reveal shot, particularly at faster speeds. Like the forward reveal shot, aim to fly slowly, in a straight line, and give the viewer the feeling of floating. However, be very careful you don't fly into an obstacle, as you won't see it approaching on the camera screen. We recommend visually clearing the area first, and avoid fixating on the screen unless you have a spotter to assist. To make the shot even more dramatic, add a gentle climb as you pull away from the object you're filming. To practice this shot, start with the object set in the screen as desired. Commence gentle backwards flight, then add a slight continuous climb. As your distance from the object you're filming increases, you'll need to increase the speed and rate of climb of the drone to maintain a constant feel of speed for the viewer. The tripod shot is a relatively easy shot, but takes practice to perfect it. Imagine rotating your video camera slowly on a tripod to review the landscape. The tripod shot allows you to replace this with your drone. 
The key to a good tripod shot is to rotate, otherwise known as yaw, the drone slowly. A common error is the operator varies the speed of rotation during the shot, which makes the footage look erratic to the viewer. Recent software updates to some DJI products mean you can complete the tripod shot using the system's automation. Some important tips are to make sure the horizon is level before taking the shot. If need be, adjust the gimbal roll in the settings to ensure the horizon is relatively flat. And don't forget the photography rules of thirds. If possible, the horizon should line up with the top third mark of the screen, leaving two thirds of the shot to landscape that you're filming. Otherwise, you can vary the shot by pointing the camera more towards the ground.